gentlemen, your official fight introduction. The following contest is a boxing bout matched at 67 kilograms to be fought over three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he proudly represents Harboard Fight Team, Lewis B.T. Come on, that's not what this car is about. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is age 24 and enters the ring with a record of 18 victories and 5 defeats. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and proudly represents the Immortals, Carl Ellis! And our MC tonight is Ronnie Rollins, dressed up in his monster gear. Looks like he just got out of the grave. One. Sir Graves Gaskerly. <laughs> Scott Thomas and Terry over in uh, Carl's Corner as well tonight. I've trained them both. The trained them both. <laughs> and here we go, seconds out. Scott's my grandson's uh, father. <laughs> right, okay. It's a fighting family. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got... So Lewis has got his hands up. Lovely, lovely. He's, he's, use, he's using his reach. He's using his... Yeah. And he's out. And That's he's it. stepping back out, so he's in, yes. and then he's back out yeah. again. His, his opponent hasn't got the reach. He needs to be going forward. He needs to have a defense, right, to, to close it down, Harry. But he isn't. He's, he's staying at range. So, not being cruel, he's, at the moment, maybe he's just look, looking and sussing it out. You, you think Lewis in the, in the black trunks? Yeah. You think he's just trying to feel Carl out first round? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Well, I mean, Lewis has got his chin down as yes. well. Yes, yeah. You know, I, I know everybody's got a different style with their, the way they hold their hands, you know? Some are a little bit more looser. But I mean, Carl's, oh, Carl, nice. Carl, Carl's got a lovely defense. Yeah. Got, when he throws his left, his right hand, when he throws his right, his left hand's on, on, on his chin. When he throws his left, his right hand's on his chin. Right. It's, it's, it's technique and defense I mean, at one point. You've done both. You've done boxing, K1. Yeah. And, yeah. and if, have, have you ever, while you've been in a boxing match, almost thrown a kick? Yes. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So you really got to hold yourself oh, yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Right. But this is, this is the thing, is when you can change between disciplines, this is where you have to have good fight IQ. Right. There's no excuse. I've been into, in, in, in fights and different things where I've been caught with shots. They've gashed him just once. Ten seconds. Deliberate. He knew what, knew what it was. Simple. He should be fighting the rules if you can't go back, especially when you're experienced. Right. Yeah. Right. When you're not experienced, then you don't. So you think in Lewis's corner, they were giving him some advice? There? Yes. Yeah. They not so not, much not of the to, haymaker not, shots. Not, not, not to cuff. Clean Is shots down cuffing? the center. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're not going to get a really good shot off like that, are you? because it's going to be more like on the inside, yes. isn't it? Which yeah. is an illegal shot, isn't it? Well, I mean, races? I mean, what you have to look at is going going back over the years. Joe Calzaghi, he used to to cap slap all the time right yeah because he had weak knuckles his knuckles used to break okay that's why he did it right. I, always used to, I used to wonder why it, why it was but if he made contact with his knuckles his knuckles break right i mean he, he was a phenomenal fighter yeah, phenomenal yeah. fighter yeah for those I, people I, I only found that out late, late later on i used to wonder why he was doing it like that to save his hands i mean a lot of people probably don't know if you haven't gone and done any kind of boxing training whatsoever just how much punishment your hands actually take. The small Think, bones, the yeah. small bones. This is why in kickboxing, same thing with kickboxing. Your foot, your toes, small bones. That's why you do it in Thai boxing, you kick with your shin. Right. The higher up, the closer to your knee, the smaller the bone. Right, right? yeah. So if you can close, close the range down, you, you can do more damage. Yeah. If you throw, kick, and you get checked with somebody's shin or knee, and you hit your foot or your ankle, it's going to do you more damage. Absolutely. Then, so you have, to, you have to get in, you have to learn that, that range. That range I think for those people out there that have ever kicked a heavy bag, like a proper heavy bag, yes. not a lightweight heavy bag, 
right? Like more like a tie boxing yeah, bag. Yeah. And you kick it with your foot. You're limping. Oh yeah. You're it's, limping it's, home. Exactly. There's no two ways about I mean, that. This, this is it. With the, with, the, with the gym that I'm training with, the Immortals now, of like, um, they've got a big heavy bag, and I go in there and I can I can still dig it as hard and fold it over. The lads hit it and the wind is whining. Yeah. I know. They know it's hurting. Yeah. And that's just from the check. That's the, just from the check. Final round. I mean, it, just some people got harder limbs than others. Yeah, this is you know. what it comes down to. It's all about conditioning. Conditioning is everything. Uh, he's smiling at him. Dropped his hands. I don't know if that's a good look or not. Yeah. Usually well, for me, Eugene, when somebody's dropped their hands and they're smiling, it's because you've hurt them. Yes, it says, it says. And it's kind of like, what, it's their last part of the strategy yeah, to try and yeah, throw you it, off. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like you haven't hurt me. You know, that, in, a, in a, lot, a lot of cases, in some of the fights I've been in, the more, more experience you get, when you get hit with a good shot, you'll nod. You'll give them the benefit. You go, yeah, that yeah, was respect. a good shot. Because we know, we know when we've been hit with a good shot. Yeah. We know when we've landed a good shot. And this is the thing, it's, it's how you take that shot. Right? This is this is what it comes down to. There's no point in being cocky. Yeah. You let your, you let your technique, you let your fighting, you know, do the talking. Do the talking. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it comes down to. Now I'm not saying lovely that, technique. That, yeah. I'm not saying that not to be a cocky fighter. You got to have some sort of like oh, yeah. ego. Yeah. Do you know what I mean to keep you going? Yeah. Right. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get out of control. But like you were saying, you get hit with a good shot, and you recognize that, and you give that respect to the other guy. Yes. It's like, hey, that was a good one. And these two lads, they've been going at it pretty good now. Yeah. I've seen Carl fight a couple times. Yeah. He looks really sharp here today. Yeah. And once again, you know, Carl's lost a couple fights. You know, on decision, but he doesn't stop going to the gym. It's all about learning. It's a learning curve. It's one of these things. The reason I got into, the reason I got into fighting was so that I could look after myself in the street. Sure. Five, I was, I was four, bullied. Three, um, two, I'd, I'd one. Etc. Etc. But there can be only one victor. The judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner. Moving up to 19 wins in the red corner. Carl Ellis! That's what we thought here as well. Absolutely, yeah. We thought Carl had that all the way.